Hello, it's uh, Sue from Devon Junk Journaler. Just thought I'd do a quick through, a flip through of Little Blue. Uh, it's a journal that's um, for sale at the moment on my Etsy shop, which is Devon Junk Journaler. Um, it'll come wrapped in this lovely um, I don't know, table. I guess, it, I guess it's a table mat. Uh, but I thought the colour matched um, Little Blue here perfectly. Uh, and it'll um, just keep it neat and tidy, really. So let's have a look inside. So on the front cover is a lovely uh, vintage, very vintage crocheted blue flower, uh, which has been uh, gently stitched down. The the back the um, background fabric is it's kind of like a hessian, uh, but obviously printed. Um, and I've gessoed some of the parts just to give it that aged look, um, which I find really attractive. Um, this is a picture out of uh, an old calendar. There's a piece of uh, denim trim here, which came off of a, a dress that I recycled. Um, cardboard in the background here, which has been uh, gessoed and painted just to give it that lovely uh, textural yeah, just nice anyway. Nice textural feel. A uh, little uh, stamped image there which I've stitched onto the cardboard. A piece of dark blue sari silk here with this beautiful stitched trim which you'll find um, is featured in the uh, the rest of the journal. But yeah, really nice. Very, uh, very touchy-feely. Yeah, it's a single signature. Um, I've hand dyed the papers. Let me just make sure we're in frame. Yeah. Um, hand dyed papers uh, with a nice soft blue um, it did split slightly so it's sort of pinky blue so it's quite nice um, as in all my journals you've got a, um, the front pocket here this book belongs to big tag so you can personalize it again here's that lovely trim some blue daisies some very very vintage um, crochet doilies which all adds to it. Uh, the background fabric, I'll just point it out now. It's a lovely um, vintage inspired, I don't think it's terribly old, but um, vintage inspired uh, cotton. Um, yeah, so let's flick through the pages. I say um, hand dyed. Interesting the way some of this dye took actually. Um, so I've dyed them, ironed all the pages. I do like to write in my journals, as I've said before. Um, there's some very decorative little stickers, um, a ledger paper photo. Um, this is one of the, I don't know what they were called, but over the page flip things. I think these images are Artie Mays. I really can't remember. I do apologise if they're not. But again, we've got lots of lace vintage trims. And this one's actually got like a lace netting on the back here. I don't know if you can see. Put my finger up there. So it's like a lace netting and it goes all the way. So it's all stitched down, all beautifully secure. Same this side, oops, upside down. Um, yeah, so vintage lace, but a vintage, very vintage music paper that I've got. Um, again, I've just slipped this over the top of the page. You can clip it in, you can use it as a separate element if you wish. Um, this lovely little trim, I do, I adore that trim. Uh, lots of stenciling, stamping, writing space, um, quite a few tags and things and journal spots in this one and journal cards in this. So again, really lovely images. Pinwheel flower and I can't remember for the life of me. It's a YouTube thing um, and it's just circles that you fold in half and then you stick them into like a pinwheel, which is lovely really effective stenciling more of the little trims stamping see the way it's split here this color it's gone pink and blue but i love it i think it's really really cool um some more uh, dyed uh, ledger paper a lovely fabric flip um which is a real mishmash of fabrics but it really works it's lovely uh, writing paper uh, this is the one half of an envelope. I'll show you the other half in a bit. A uh, little tuck spot, little journaling spot, 
another one of those lovely pinwheels more writing space love this it's, just, it's amazing the way it pulled mm, it's great uh, another journaling card another pinwheel flower which are, again lovely bits of lace um, punched paper fabric all stitched down all secure very very vintage music paper there so I've backed it onto a bit of a stronger piece so that uh, it should be nice and secure I didn't do anything majorly uh, over the top in the center sometimes you know you just want quite a simple journal and um, I mean you know this gives scope for you to add your own bits and bobs Another long journaling card here, all stitched, coffee dyed, journaling spot on the back, sari silk, lovely stickers, lace, all sorts. This is a slightly darker blue, which is fabulous. It's amazing how when you dye the papers, how differently each one takes it. It's very, very good fun. Uh, this is the other half of that envelope which I've um, stenciled over. I found this lovely tiny bit of blue trim and that's a sticker that I've had for a while actually in my stash. Uh, in here is a little journaling card. Funny! Right space on the back. Again, sorry, silk ribbon and uh, cardboard. Uh, more writing please. Again, look at the way that's split. It's gone pink and blue which is very interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, another journaling card there. Lovely B. Torn out picture frame, which I thought was quite good fun, actually. And stitched some more of that lovely denim um, uh, fabric embroidered trim. While stenciling. Again, easy to write over this. Absolutely no problem at all. More trim. Stamping, another journal card. I'm oh, mad. Um, yeah, coffee dye paper, lovely stickers. That's the other half of the uh, journal. Um, ledger paper. There's a little uh, completely fabric um, scrappy embellishment there. Some more of this lovely vintage lace I oh, still can't remember what it's called anywho um another one of my giant trifold tags in the back of this one loads and loads and loads of journaling space here it's a bit of coffee dyed ledger paper um i've decoupaged napkin with birds and fabrics lovely fabric ruffle there same fabric uh tied into uh tag tops there which again, you could use this um, separately, absolutely no problem at all. Um, I've clipped it to the side. Let's see what this is, you can see that. Yeah, I've clipped it to the side here, a bit of sari silk, some uh, beaded uh, droplet bits. Uh, but I think I'll put that up there like the other one. Sorry, neighbour. Uh, yeah, so that's it really. A uh, little fabric bird on the front logo stitched in the edges are pinked it will fray slightly nothing major it's not overly stuffed so you've got plenty and plenty of space in here i haven't done a closure you know sometimes you do sometimes you don't um i mean really you could just you know easily wrap a bit of ribbon round it wouldn't be a problem very easily done so yeah it's got a nice feel I like the bit of gesso just sort of knocks it back slightly but yeah all in all, not a bad job. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'll pop this up on uh, Facebook. I'll put the link uh, to my shop on Etsy. And um, I think that's it. Lovely. Thanks very much. Bye.